Helpfulo presents. How to read anyone instantly 14 psychological tips. You have probably wondered how things would be if you could read other people's minds. Some people use their intuition for this, but if you are not so perceptive, there is only one choice left, learning to read people's body language. It is a well-known fact that we get over 55% of information through nonverbal communication. Alan Pease, an Australian body language expert, wrote about this. Mimics, gestures, and other body movements can unmask a person and tell you what they really think or feel. In this video we will share you 14 psychological tips how to read anyone instantly. Number 1 Eye Contact. They often say that the eyes are the window to the soul. For example, if a person literally can take their eyes off you, it could mean there's a romantic interest. That said, if you're talking with someone whose stare is making you squirm especially if they're very still and not blinking, something is definitely up, and they may be lying to you. Number 2 Eyebrows. If you want to see how comfortable a person is, take a look at their eyebrows. It's hard to do, isn't it? Number 3 Smile. When it comes to smiling, the mouth can lie, but the eyes can't. People often smile to hide what they're really thinking and feeling, so the next time you want to know if somebody's smile is genuine, look for crinkles at the corners of their eyes. Number 4 Behavior. What they say if you're meeting someone for the first time, and all they do is talk about their wonderful better half or praise their work colleagues, chances are, they're a pretty decent person themselves. Studies show, that the more people rate others as being kind, polite, loving, and well-mannered, the more likely they are to also possess these traits. However, the reverse is also true. Number 5 Voice Tone. Paralanguage is non-verbal communication such as your tone, pitch, or manner of speaking. Basically, it's a fancy way of saying that you need to pay attention to how someone says something. So, pay attention to the emphasis they put on words and how they say it. Number 6 Side Glance. People that are warm and open to meeting you, will have their body facing you and they will look you in the eye. On the flip side, if you've just met someone and they immediately glance away to the side, this is a subconscious body language sign that means they are looking for an escape. Number 7 Frequent Nodding. Nodding is usually a sign that someone agrees with you. But, exaggerated nodding may signal anxiety, about approval. The other person to get a move on, just like when a person keeps looking at their watch or touches their car keys. Number 8 Chin and Jaw. When someone is trying to make a decision, they tend to rub their chin. They might be looking up, down, or to the side. It's a sure sign that they are deep in thought. A clenched jaw is a sign of stress. Regardless of what the person is saying, this indicates a considerable level of discomfort. The conversation may be heading toward something they're anxious about, or their mind may be elsewhere, and they're focusing on the thing that's stressing them out. Number 9 Posture. How someone carries themselves can give you some indications about their self-confidence. It may not necessarily mean that they have low self-esteem, but that's the message it gives off. Number 10 Rubbing Hands. It is believed that the hands broadcast what the head is thinking. People usually do this when they are hopeful about something good coming up in the future, and they're excited about it. Number 11 Handshake. You can tell a lot by a person's handshake. Too hard and crushing and they are possibly domineering types. The length of time is also important. It's possible that the person does not want to make a deep connection with you. But, it could also mean that they don't have much time. Number 12 Leaning in or away. If a person leans in toward you, it's a clear indication that they are interested in what you have to say. What you might not know, is that it's also a sign of respect. Number 13 Holding the baby. Okay, this might seem like a strange one, but it's good to know. Studies show that happy moms tend to hold their babies in their left arm. Number 14 Shoes. A person's shoes can tell you a lot about their personality. Apparently, we all make judgments about people's shoes, but studies show that they are pretty accurate. Does your personality type fit in with them? If you love our video then subscribe our channel for more helpful videos give us a like and comment your queries or suggestion in video comment box thanks and have a good day.